Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead resolving if you're coming across a device error which requires credentials of a guest instead of proper authentication. And this is that you cannot access the shared folder because your organization security policies block unauthorized guest access. So we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to start by opening up the star menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab. Select export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you are making the backup. And then export range should be selected to all. And then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And just select save. And if you ever needed to import it back in, just put select file and then import. And navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. So now we're ready to begin. And we're going to start by expanding the HK local machine folder. So go ahead and double click on that. Do the same thing for the software folder. You want to do the same thing for policies. Should be a Microsoft folder, expand that. And then finally Windows, just left click on that one time. You want to right click on the Windows folder. Before we proceed further, just take note of the path on the top of our screen here if you need to pause the video. Each backslash is a different folder we've gone under up to this point. So anyway, now you want to right click on the Windows folder right here that we already have selected after expanding Microsoft. And you want to right click on that, select new, and then select key. You want to call this LAN man, so L-A-N-M-A-N -A -N, workstation. As it appears on my screen, so the L in LAN man and the W in workstation should all be capitalized should both be capitalized, everything else lowercase, and no spaces in between any of these words. Hit enter on your keyboard, it should appear as it does on my screen right now here. And you want to right click on a blank area on the left, on the right side, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. I'm going to have a value in the description of my video, I want you guys to copy it. Or you could alternatively just spell it out from what you see on my screen, but generally speaking it's probably less prone to error if you just copy it. Again, no spaces in between any of this, so allow insecure guest auth, so A-U-T-H, as it appears on my screen. Hit enter. Now you want to go double click on that. Change the value data to 1, so delete the 0, type the number 1, left click on OK. And once you're done with that, you should be good to go. You can close out of here, and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.